Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. Hey, let's go kill a boss, huh? You know what we really need is another blueprint. Seriously, I don't know how you're supposed to have the resources to make use of a whole bunch of blueprints. At first I was clamoring for them, now I can't imagine a use. Uh, let's bring some medicinal herbs. I'm really gonna hope that we run into some of that sweet dream coral. Uh, we should probably bring some bandages. We got a bandage for free because of our arbalist. I think this is good. I think we're ready. We got torches. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we don't need to bring any blood. We have managed to build up a hell of a stockpile. I'm very pleased about that. We probably will be totally cool on blood through this next horrific infection phase. In financial desperation, I struck a bargain with the ancient things that surfaced in search of sacrifice when the moon was right. Their price was the delivery of an obscure idol, and one other item of more troubling portent. The pact struck. My newfound accomplices slipped silently beneath the brackish water. A fearful stirring at the edge of the torchlight betrayed a familiar witness, and gifted me with malign inspiration. Ah... That's unfortunate for her. She should, uh, maybe mind her own business. I wondered what became of the unfortunate little whiff. She should mind her own business, I say, blaming her for the horrific thing that happened. Wow, there's really not that much combat in this one. So obviously this is the siren room. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's pop over here and grab this. Well, that's an inauspicious beginning. Okay. No, don't just... Oh. Okay, well, she de-stressed herself. I know that you can, um... Apparently, you can, when somebody interacts with a curio by themselves, if you have your inventory page open, you can mash-click on the correct item and they will use it, but I think that's very clearly a bug. So I'm not gonna be... Uh... Not gonna be messing with that. But man, that's a no... We could have removed a negative trait from somebody. You don't get to pick, but it removes a random negative trait uh, and that's pretty cool you know that's a valuable thing so let's go down this way if we if we get lucky when we enter this room we can get another two hallway scout and see what's in here I just wanna I wanna try to figure out as quickly as possible if there is a secret room in this dungeon also man it's good to have proper frontliners we spent a lot of time this game uh, having people who are only sort of ready for that task improvising. It's nice to have people who are like, you know, it's good to have a crusader around. It would be even better if we still had our uh, man at arms, but we'll figure it out. Ah, uh, it's annoying. Uh, probably we just, the odds of us killing one of these things in one hit is low enough. Let's just give him a stun. And I chose this one so that we'd get a little bit of damage onto the guy that the uh, Arbalest can shoot at easily. Because after his stun's, stun wears off, obviously, he's going to be the priority target between the two of these. Because we can just stun the other one. As the enemy There, easy enough. His stun chance is 160%. So he actually still has a 90% chance of being able to land another stun here. It's nice to have one of these, uh... Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. It's nice to have one of these guys who has a nice high chance stun carrying around a stun trinket. Because it can sometimes let you lock an enemy out of the fight entirely. Hmm, do I want to medicinal herb this for a bunch of food and loot? Yeah, probably. Debating just saving all of my medicinal herbs, obviously. Okay, we definitely want to be at maximum light when we enter here for maximum scouting chance because it would be really cool if we got this hallway searched. We did it. Okay. So now we've seen the majority of the hallways in the dungeon via scouting. Let's poke our head in here. Do I want to go all the way to this end? 
I wonder if I want I, I think I might not. Yeah, actually, let's let's come back to this later. We'll come back to this after the boss is defeated. As it is, I don't have a ton of room for extra loot in my inventory. Hmm. Do I want to save? I'm pretty sure medicinal herbs are what you use on the coral to make it give you, uh, to make it take away one of your negative traits. So the question is, do I want to save the medicinal herbs for potentially the coral? This stuff seems to be pretty rare. And we have already encountered one instance. Yeah, let's just get treasure. Wealth beyond measure. Good stuff. Oh, two more herbs. Warm awesome. To the brave and the foolhardy alike. Best of both worlds. Get my good treasure check and potentially future coral. I kind of wonder if I should stop looting stuff until we get to the boss. You know, go to the boss and then come back. Do I try to kill this guy before he gets any attacks off, or do I just try to prevent this guy from having a second turn? I think probably we focus on the stress dude. Okay, good. Lethal. As the fiend falls, Turns out I get them both. Uh, you know, maybe, maybe I ought to heal. I guess that dude's missing 20 health. So now the question is, do I stun this guy again? Or do I just do zealous accusation? I think probably... Probably he's not going to get a turn, right? Well, I guess he has 7 speed. He totally could. And the bleed? Awesome. Alright, obviously I'm not at a place where I feel like I should be not taking crests. Hmm, I don't really need the holy water, I guess. Let's just, like, drink some holy water. And then we could... We could not take the jade. Hmm. Or I could drop the bandages or something. See, this is what I was saying. Maybe it's a good idea for us not to... Just, like, try to open this chest or anything. Maybe we go to the boss. Right before the boss, we camp. You know, we use some stuff up. And then we worry about loot afterward. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. This is probably just a torch. Laden with loot. Feel okay taking that. Low on supplies. Okay, good. Alright, so I trust the Arbalist has that under control. Alright, and with that dude having one speed, uh, I guess we're not actually guaranteed to go before he does. The Occultist has, what, seven? I think the Houndmaster's in about the same area. So if he rolled a max the maximum value on his speed check... Oh no, my Houndmaster has nine speed. So even if this guy did roll the eight on his speed check and my Houndmaster rolled a one, I still would go before him. Which is good, because, man, you really do not want to see what happens when uh, the Thrall gets to take his second turn. God, I love the fact that the Occultists can actually do stuff from the front two rows now. That was a really, really good change. Guard doesn't work if I just hit them both. And... The Arbless ability... To contribute to this kill is maybe not exactly what I would uh it's not awesome. So don't feel too bad about using a using a heal. Oh man, seven hole damage. This guy has too much prod. 
Yeah, I guess she still does. She still does fine damage. She has a lot of... Not a lot of plus damage, but she has some plus damage and it matters. If only we had a blight. Ooh. Beware okay, well, first of all. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Now, this is interesting. Man, I wish I knew whether I needed these shovels or not. Well, it's probably not safe to drop them yet. I think we're going to end up not using the bandages. And then... Dropping a citrine for the crest? I'm going to hold out hope on the herbs. Alright, if we walk out of here, let me think. We needed 60, or we need 60 crests. There's 18 as a mission reward here. So if we walk out of here with 42 crests, which is to say three and a half or more, we'll be able to build our cartographer's camp Another right murder. after this. Another misfortune. No, right? I'm trying to think of the path that I want to take back. Because I might not want to go through this hallway again. Yeah, I don't think I do. Okay, well. Turns out not to be a big deal. So we'll just camp here. Camp here and get our buffs and stuff straight. And we have now scouted the entire dungeon. So we know there's no secret room. There is, however, a chest with a key. Or a chest with a lock over here. Man, we kind of don't even need to camp. Do we have buffs that we can apply? So we need de-stress. Restring crossbow's good. Yeah, I, mostly I just need to get the firewood out of my inventory. Okay, so we'll definitely restring crossbow. We'll definitely prevent the ambush. And we definitely... We have three time units left, so we could sell a speech. We could do therapy dog and then something else. I don't even really have anything else to do, though. Yeah, we can we can buff people's stress income rate. We <laughs> we have a lot of pep talks and stuff. Yeah. He shouts, "My friends, we can pass any test. Do not despair." And he is the only beneficiary of that speech. I mean, I guess it makes sense. May we find victory. Ah, come on. I was going to break that open with my shovel. Well, we're probably going to end up throwing the shovel away here. Alright, so the siren is not really very different than she was last time. So we're very likely to hit this stun. And she's Eldritch, just like everything else in here, so... Well, everything else that's unique to here, anyway. Unfortunately, she's taking up both of the front two spots, so I can't just stun the Houndmaster. Well, I'm glad I didn't eat a dog treat before he got grabbed. Ooh. That's an annoying one. Well. A dizzying blow to body and brain. Behold, the unquenchable fire of the stars. Obviously, it doesn't take much to get... Uh, 
to get her uh, spell off of people. But you do want to be gentle. You said it. So yeah, the siren's just not a very good boss, I don't think. Like, if she... If your party is really... We, if you have, like, weird power differentials, like, maybe if you brought a couple of party members who aren't very good or something, and then your one or two party members who are good get grabbed, then I guess... That, that could be a problem, but also that's not, I don't think, a real thing. I don't think that's a thing that happens in this game, so... So we're just gonna trivially put her down because that's what happens to the siren. I'm right, just gonna try to grab the arbalest. That wouldn't be a big problem. And I wish Blindfire reliably did that much damage for me. Quakes. Crushed by justice. Fish justice. Okay, that... Alright, if that had moved them both back, it would have been a little annoying. Should I heal him? I should probably heal him, right? Just in case something crazy happens. The thing is, there's a pretty good chance that I just... I'd have to hit for 17 to kill her. Yeah, Pretty good chance is maybe too strongly worded. We'll get her, though. You still have your dog treat. Boosie apparently will not, under any circumstances, dodge any attacks. Hideous matriarch, bio queen of the aquatic depths. She has no place in the same hey. world. New Eldritch Killing Incense. Cool, I told you we'd find another one. And a lock of patience, which isn't any good. And we know we can drop the shovel now, because we've seen the entirety of the dungeon. And now it's time to head back out and get some more loot. And when we run low on torchlight, we can, uh... We can just trade his sun ring out for the Eldritch Killing Incense. Wait a minute, this isn't the default party order, is it? No. It was indeed the sparkle of coin, seen through the lock, I'm assuming? Either that or via his superpowers. What do you mean we didn't surprise him? That doesn't sound right. Yeah, so Stumbling Scraps there is the very weak attack that these guys have access to when they're not in the front. Okay, so we gotta hit you for 9 to kill you. I think Abyssal Artillery might do it. Let's find out. Okay, not a terrible first round. Let's just not let them do anything this turn. How about that? We can take a moment, heal people up. Did you, did you banish him? Is that what that was? So, 21... Man. A lot of people missing a lot of health. Okay, there we go. Maybe I'm pushing it here with the, uh, with the taking care of my party instead of fighting. But I knew the guy was one hit away from death, so... Huh. 
has victory's well, mount, so too will resistance. This is a non-tarnished silver trinket, so it's worth like twelve fifty. It's fairly valuable. We probably at this point. I mean, any of these curios could be the coral, but maybe it's worth dropping the medicinal herbs. Or even the blood. You know, we don't really need this all this blood, man. I'm going to drop both, actually. Yeah, I think right now we're not taking blood. I'm going to hold on to the blueprint, though. Even though I don't think I particularly have anything to do with it. Oh, the Red Plague. Yeah, that one's pretty bad. Food may well be the thing that uh, determines how long we can push forward here. Ah. Why? Why did you have to live... You know what? I'm just gonna let him take his turn. Or let him have his one turn. You, on the other hand, you get nothing. Okay, good work, guys. Slowly, gently. This is how life is taken. <laughs> Who would have thought this giant crab might be uncivilized? Actually, I probably should have marked him. This is definitely a situation where a mark would have been worthwhile. So my stun chance is 160. Yeah, sure, I'll take the coin flip. Ah, I didn't get it. Oh no, my arteries! I don't know how it's an arterial pinch when he just hits you sort of with like the back of his hand. Man, he is now bleeding for all of it, 100% of the life. We might have to leave because of how hard it's going to be to deal with all this bleeding. Well struck. All right, stun him. This will give me a little bit of time to work. Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. Let's do a little bit of stress relief. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Obviously, this is the turn where he has to die. Okay, he's dead. Stop bleeding him. Wow, man. We are... I guess maybe we ought to just bail? Like, we're running out of space for all of our loot. Let's drop this stuff. We have these. This is 750. Or no, this is a non-tarnished. This is like 1250. And do I have anything here that's not? No, I don't have anything here that's not valuable. Uh, the I'm gonna drop the citrine for the gold. The citrine's worth more than the gold is right now. But obviously, if we pick up a little bit, uh... ah, there's some of that good coral. Well. Ignore it. If I uh, if I pick up any more gold from any source, pretty much we'll be all right. We will make back more than we just dropped. Don't you crit me, man! I bet life is a fish man sucks. I bet this is the worst. I hate the fact that I have to hit that guy again. Right? Because think about it. It can't be comfortable to breathe. I'm sure he has, like, 
more human style respiratory system. But even so, it's got to be uncomfortable at the very least. Let's intentionally try not to kill this guy so that we can get some healing done. A fine start. Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. All right, we better finish him off, though. Okay, more rubies. Awesome. Brought low and driven into the mud. Three seventy-five. I'm just wondering where it makes sense to drop the food and bail. I think I'm going to push on with. Let's hope for a little bit better loot to finish things out. So we'll go back here where the chest was. Oh, well, I mean, I suppose we should try to open that. There's no reason not to. Somebody has already cleaned the house that is this giant oyster. Ah, oh, yeah. Food is going to be what turns us around. A fortune waiting to be spent. Okay. Well, we're not turning. Things are not turning out so well in this choice to uh, take gold over gemstones so far. At this point, we have lost five hundred gold worth of citrines. But I kind of want to just like go down here. Come on. So this is a loot crate. Oh, we should swap these because this is no longer beneficial. And we know we have an heirloom crate. These these very commonly contain large amounts of heirlooms. I think I'm going to kill the lights. Secrets and wonders can be found in the most tenebrous corners of this place. Ah, that's not enough. All right, I'm pushing on to this curio at least. Once we see what it is, we'll decide whether we want to, like, maybe even go all the way to the end of the hall. Okay, all of a sudden, vindicated. What do you think? We go for it, right? I'm gonna go for it. On account of the fact that pushing our luck has never not worked out for us in the past, let's do it. Let's go fight some guys in the dark, get a bunch of loot, and then go home. <clears throat> okay, this is not a bad group of guys to fight in the dark, actually. Damn your prot. Damn your dodging. How are you guys going to let the Crusader do more damage with a stun than you do with your actual attacks? Yep. Yep, of course. No, of course. This is the, this is the price I pay. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> So this would give him 22 dodge. Four speed, seven speed. You also have seven speed. The odds of him killing the Fusilia are basically zero. So he kills this guy. I can't... Okay, please don't heal him to zero. Thank you. And we resisted the bleed. I cannot believe how reliably bad the gambles are turning out for me. Okay, so we have to bandage him too. Teetering on the brink, facing the abyss. All right, so the enemies only get one turn. This next round. Come 
correct that. Zero turns this next round. Hmm, I probably should keep healing. Watered is, like, determined to get Tinel killed. Seems to be his primary goal. So we definitely have taken more stress than I would like in this in this final engagement. I know fighting monsters in the dark is dangerous and everything, but the amount of stress we gained in that fight is a little silly. It's a lot of treasure, though. All right, um, we're definitely taking these crests. Over three deeds? Oh, deeds are valuable, but three is. And then, do I want busts over any of the things that we have that are worth gold? Because we're much less gold-starved than we used to be. Yeah, three busts over 750 gold worth of trinkets is probably still a bad trade, though. Well... That could be better timed. I'm pretty sure that thing can sometimes relieve your stress. We made a lot of money there, but a lot of it's in uh, the form of trinkets, so it doesn't add up so clearly. Right, I think that, uh, okay, that's gotta go. I do like plus three speed, but that's gotta go. I think that it makes sense now to put up the cartographer's camp. There is a great horror beneath the manor. Important. A crawling chaos that must be destroyed. Unfortunately, this is almost certainly going to clear his rabies, but I think it's, I think it's worth it. Yeah, I want that. I want that gone, too. Alright, and then Tinel needs to go gamble. And we're definitely not, definitely not spending any crests right at this moment. I hit escape to close this menu, and it does not do that. I really wish that he could do other stuff besides gambling. Do I wish that enough to put him in the sanitarium for it? It's 2400. It's a really annoying trait. Because gambling, uh, gambling is the stress relief activity I like the least. Yeah, honestly, I think it is. I think it is worth doing. Okay, and she will only meditate, that's fine. Go forth and meditate. And then... Okay, I was gonna say, is there no, is no art for it? Okay, Torchlight is more beneficial, and we will get to uh, dig into that and see the exact effects tomorrow. Oh, we've been given the option to uh, to play a green mission doesn't come up that often we might want to take it the lock of fury is a fine loot item another book of sanity I think the game is trying to tell us something the ancest the ancestors coat is not it's not totally awesome yeah not a lot of really compelling loot so next time what we should do probably oh what we should do before we even make this decision is go check the stagecoach so we got room for another man-at-arms. I'm not super unhappy with our low-level crew. Man-at-arms is pretty great, but I don't think I want to replace our only grave robber. Or any of the people who have levels. Mm, I would probably rather have two man-at-arms than two lepers. I like lepers, but... 
Yeah. Sorry, Montfort. Long shoulders, wild eyes, and a stumbling gait. This one is no more good to us. So yeah, I think this is the way we're gonna go. We're gonna take advantage of an opportunity to uh, to get some green XP, and we'll take uh, we'll take like Tullus and Griffin and Fairfax and one of the new men at arms. Try to get them leveled up because they really would like to get us uh, back to having one of these on the on the active duty roster. Hmm. Dark Temptation is pretty annoying, but Last Gasp is nothing. Deadly is also not really great. Fear of Eldritch is a little bit worse than uh, than Dark Temptation, probably. I don't know. I guess Vataville will be our man. And we should probably give them some trinkets. You can see here, we've... We've pretty much conquered our basic money problem for a while. We have lots of duplicate oranges that we could sell. We have a lot of grays that we could sell. And we have a lot of money in the bank. Speaking of the bank real quick. We could build this right now too. At 30,000 gold, 5% interest is 1,500. Hmm... So we have all these blueprints, right? And like, what else am I going to do with them? How many portraits do we still need to finish upgrading the guild? 33 plus 11 plus some other amount. So... Well north of 50. This isn't necessarily a waste. And we are still going to have to spend a lot of gold. I think you'll be surprised at how quickly it evaporates when we start uh, buying those big last level upgrades hmm we may end up making the performance hall just because this is a thing that we will definitely be able to afford at some point because we don't really have a lot of use for busts we can make a granary maybe even should make a granary but we could right this second convert some of these busts can we convert enough I can only get seven. So this is not on the table for this week. But it might it might actually be something worth doing. I guess let's poke our head in here and see. Nope, surprise, nothing really amazing. Critical dice are fine. So let's do as we usually do, and I'm gonna give each person one item. Ah, uh, we lost our uh I'm, st I'm still so bummed that we lost our man-at-arms. I think the Rampart Shield's a good play for him. I think a Focus Ring is a good idea for this guy. It's a good damage item for a guy who doesn't do all of his damage via initial contact. Honestly, I think Focus Rings are generally pretty good, and characters who are very low level often have zero base dodge. Once you get a, a couple levels of armor upgrades into them, it usually uh, gets better. And what can you do? You could hold a de-stress book and just guarantee that you won't freak out. So your damage is pretty bad anyway. Yeah, that's probably fine. This party does not then have a lot of sources of bonus damage. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we'll go like this. Just want to make sure we can actually get through the enemies, you know? So that leaves us with three trinket slots open for loot carrying in addition to the normal loot stuff. Uh, and this is a camping mission, so I do want to make absolutely sure that we do one thing before we go out. And that is make sure we have... Okay, we do have Trinket Scrounge. Trinket Scrounge can sometimes add an awful lot of uh, money to your loot at the end. Give a companion plus 20% all resists. That's not horrible. Curious Incantation is kind of like weird and not very good. Resupply is okay. And it only costs one time. 
which is valuable. You don't you don't see a lot of things that cost one. He's got maintain equipment and tactics. I like weapons practice a lot. Let's pick that up. And we have sanctuary already. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we are pretty much ready. I guess we can we can do gear upgrades on a couple of people. All right. Well, that is going to be it for today. Come back next time. We are slowly gliding, or slowly guiding. Uh, our <laughs> remaining characters up into the realm of being useful. I have high hopes for a, for a green mission. Um, especially, it has portraits as a reward. I think we're probably going to be able to get the bank next time. So I guess I'll try to do a little bit of napkin math and see if I think that's actually worth doing. So come back next time to see the result of math, everybody's favorite thing. And we'll see you then.